Chella Creates here. So I have had a couple of people ask me, um, how, do, do, how do you journal? What is your process? Um, how did you get started? And what are the supplies that you use? So I decided to do a quick, I always say quick. I don't really know how quick my videos are, but anyway, hi, we're going to do a video today of my different journals that I use and um, what each one of the journals are because they all serve different purposes and I'm going to show you some of my cutesy supplies that I also like to use so let's just jump on in so the first journal that I'm showing you is my faith journal aka faith planner this is um, purchase you can purchase this in Michael's um, as well as Happy Planner website because this is a Happy Planner. I'm not going to show you the pages because I do have a flip of my Faith Planner. But I just for the purpose of this video, I just want to show you um, what I what I journal in this daily. So this is a daily journal, and what I journal in this daily is my daily Bible verses. And each I'll journal my Bible verses and then I'll put I'll journal an application an observation and then an application as well as I will also journal scripture writing here so this is primarily what I use this journal for this is my faith journal slash aka happy planner faith planner whatever you want to call it but I consider this to be my faith journal and there's also um, miscellaneous journaling in here like this is a day that I went out with friends with pictures um, and what else is in this one just a lot of scripture it's primarily scripture writing primarily scripture writing but it is a place to hold words and it is de-stressing just to write God's words down so that's your faith journal okay so the next journal that I want to show you is it's a traveler's notebook this is a standard size traveler's notebook um, and this is also a journal now if you want to try using it I highly recommend traveler's notebooks because they can hold several different notebooks I do so as you can see, this Traveler's Notebook um, insert has one, two, three inserts. And these are all separate notebooks. And what you can do with this is you can have several different journals going on at one time, but only have to carry this one thing. So for me, this first book, this first insert has... Um, a class that I was taking called Time with God, and that is the Bible Love Journaling Group. Bible Love Journal Group, I believe. I'll tag it in the, um, on the bottom. And she does journal Bible journaling classes, and I participated in one of her classes. So this is the setup for that class. The next insert that I have in here is my February prompts. I'm doing a Journal with Chella course. That's, well, it's not a course. It's uh, it's just something to inspire everyone. So we're all journaling together, and you use hashtag Journal with Chella Creates. And um, I provided the prompts, and these are the different things that we're journaling. So in this journal, I like to be a little creative. As you can see, I use paint and stickers, watercolor paint and stickers. And this is... Um, my place to be a little bit more creative than just writing words in case you know sometimes you need that extra creativity to get the words out your head um, then and then the last book which I have not done yet is my adventures so 
I plan on writing all my traveling notes and doodads in here when I go traveling this summer or whenever. So this is what you would consider a traveler's notebook. So this is my traveler's notebook journal. Okay. The next journal I want to show you is just a basic notebook journal. So this is a basic notebook. Um, I do sell this in my Etsy shop and you can have it um, customized with anything that you want in the front and it comes in different colors so I have mine customized with this cutesy patootsy afro girl and it says bless beyond measure um, and it basically just has line pages nothing nothing fancy about this one this one is what I call my brain dump journal because I don't really add too much to this this is I, although I did put a sticker here a lot of times I don't even do that this is just my place and when I just need to get stuff off my head, out of my brain, out of my head, and onto a piece of paper, this is the journal I pick up. I don't decorate it, I don't add washi, I don't do anything to this. This is just a brain dump journal. So this is um, available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. And it's just a basic notebook and you don't have to get this one per se. The whole idea is you can get a composition black and white notebook and use that as your brain dump and just journal just get the words out of your head and onto a piece of paper you'll be surprised how distressing that activity is if you do it every day consistently um last journal that i'm going to share is one that i just set up recently this is one of my favorites hold up my phone's losing juice we don't want to lose your juice in the phone. So the one that I set this up recently and it is ta -da! this is my Hobonichi. I'm just gonna open right up to the Hobonichi. So I um, have this I suck at remembering the size of A6 this is A6. I believe this is an A6 and this is a Webster's um, Traveler's no Notebook again where you can insert several different notebooks. But I decided to insert my Hobonichi journal in here as well as one other notebook. And I add little creative things in the front like a picture of myself and little doodads to keep it cute. And I add pictures like pictures of my best friend and pictures of my children. Um, and this is my gratitude journal. This is what I call my gratitude journal because when I pick this up, I just want to write things that I'm grateful for, hence the pictures of my family, just to remind me that when my head gets all stuck with a bills I have to pay or tasks that I need to do or things that are just getting on my nerves, I can focus back in on yeah, those things might exist, but what also exists is a lot of blessings. I'm surrounded by lots of blessings. So in this journal, to Hope and Easy Journal, one thing that I love about this journal is that it's dated. So if you wanted to use it as a planner and keep track of your daily tasks, you can because it does have a section with dates, as well as the pages are dated. Me, I decided to use the monthly view pages as, a, as, as is to put down dates and things that I want to remember. But the daily pages, I actually cover my dates because I don't like the stress of having to journal on a specific date. And I don't like skipping pages. So just in case I don't journal on a specific day, I don't worry about the dates. I cover the dates and I use this kind of like a notebook without dates and I write in my own date if I want to um, and I love this paper because the paper can hold up to any medium this is fountain pen that doesn't bleed and then over here this is water coloring and look perfect no bleed through um, and this is where I get really fancy with my washi I love to decorate the edges of my pages with washi and I find just doing that sometimes I just do that I just add washi to the ends of the pages and I won't even add a sticker or anything else I'll just add words um, so it really depends on you don't feel like you have to be extra creative the most important thing is that you're journaling and you're getting those words out of those uh, 
thoughts out of your head and onto a piece of paper. So this is my gratitude journal. So the other thing that you want to have in your arsenal when you are journaling is of course washi tape. So the washi tape that I like to use is a little bit thicker because like I showed you before I like to put it on the edge of the pages. Let me just show you how that works again. So I like the washi to be a little bit thicker so that when I fold it you're going to see because what I do is I put it in the middle and fold it over so there'll be washi on two sides. For the top I just kind of just put it on the top. But um, so yeah, I like my washi rolls to be a little bit wider um, so I can do that. The other thing you got to have in your arsenal is writing supplies. So here are my favorite writing supplies. So of course, um, we, you guys already know, I am so in love with fountain pens, specifically calligraphy fountain pens. This um, fountain pen is a Nemos, Nemosin. Um, I got this from Jet Pens and I will post the link. Um, this one is a Varsity Pilot and I like this because this is great for beginners and it's affordable and it has and it comes in a kit with a whole bunch of different colors. Okay. Also, you want to have a mechanical pencil because you might want to draw something for like my lettering or if I want to do some doodling and I want to be able to erase, I have a mechanical pencil. And of course, you want to have a highlighter to highlight things. And this is a brush pen, which I use for my calligraphy. And this is a Kelly Creates. So when I do my calligraphy writing, I use my brush pen. And most importantly, white out. Because you're going to make some mistakes and you're going to spell some words. I try not to get too sensitive about spelling wrong. Because it is my journal and it is for me. But sometimes, if it's like really, really bothering me, I'll correct it. And so it's, it's good to have these. And then you just want to make sure that you have like the cute little pouch to keep it in. So I have this cute little unicorn pouch to keep my favorite writing supplies in. And then you like to, you know, if you want to be really cute, you have the little cute keychains to hang on your pouches. And just make your, make your journaling fun. Enjoy the process. Don't just get stuck in your head that you have to journal. Don't make it be a task. Make it be something you enjoy doing. So, having said all of that, I have to go because clearly I have lots of journaling to do. Thank you for watching, ladies. Have a great day. Bye.